Hey youth and leaders, uh, I'm here with Bonnie Hodge. Bonnie is new on staff at Beulah, um, but she's happy that I'm here because that makes her not the newest person. Mm -hmm. Now Bonnie, what do you do on staff at Beulah? Um, I am the pastor of community engagement. Basically what that means is um, I oversee the benevolent side of Beulah, people who are needing financial assistance or be connected with resources, we help them do that. Um, we also help people who would like to volunteer outside of Beulah in serving uh, opportunities. I help them with that. And the third is we are looking for ways that Beulah can impact the city and the region at large in transformational and restorative ways. Okay, cool. And that's what we're talking about this month, actually, in our series on Serve. And Bonnie and I have talked a little bit about mm -hmm. that. Uh, Bonnie, why are you passionate about serving outside of the walls of the church? I really, really strongly believe that the two greatest commandments that Jesus said were the two greatest commandments is to love God and love others. And in Matthew 25, it says uh, Jesus is telling a story and he gives these ways of how um, if you did this thing, it would be as if you were serving him or doing it for him. I was uh, naked and you clothed me. I was hungry and you fed me. I was in prison and you visited me. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. And I think that is a great illustration of how Jesus has left us to say how you can love others. And by that, we show our love to God. Or, yeah, we show our love to God and to others. Cool, yeah. and. Uh... That's what we're about this, this month, but with our lives, hopefully. And so uh, we wanted to try some different opportunities to do that in your small groups. And so we're doing something a little different this, this month in our Gravitate Houses and even at junior high small groups, is we're asking small groups to take on an opportunity over the next, maybe plan it this month and, and execute it this month, or even in the next few months, November, December, somewhere in there. And so Bonnie's been really helpful. She's i uh, got a few opportunities for us and still working on more opportunities. Mm -hmm. So, Bonnie, why don't you share those opportunities with us? And I'm sure that your youth leaders and youth could come up with even more great and ingenious ways. And so they have great permission. And if they need me to intercede and, and kind of the go between, I can do that as well. So here's some that I thought was interesting. The food bank, they have volunteers who come in and stock shelves. They get truckloads of food that come in from different stores and different companies. And they need basically warehouse people to stock shelves, to fold boxes, to sweep floors. And also, uh, they'll give you a grocery list that you get to go and shop at their warehouse and help stock the hampers that get given away to other people. Hope Mission, um, we're currently doing a serve throughout all of our campuses um, in November for serving a meal. So you go there, you prepare a meal, serve a meal and clean it up and you work with their kitchen staff to do that. So Hope Mission will allow youth to come in so three or four youth to every youth leader and you can sign up to serve a meal. Also uh, on Saturdays, uh, they basically do a whole clean of their shelter. So it's an opportunity for your a youth small group to come in and learn about the shelter, learn about what they do, walk around, take a look. And then you get to clean mattresses and, and just kind of tidy up while everybody is absent except for the janitorial staff. Uh, St. Paul's Anglican Church has a drop-in center called the Christian uh, Community Center and on Friday mornings we have um, volunteers from Beulah who go there, serve a meal, as well as just hang out with the neighborhood people and, and just be a kindly voice. Wouldn't work every week, but it would work if your kids were out of school or if they were on holiday or had a PA day. And that happens on Friday mornings from 9 to 11. The Mustard Seed is a great organization. They have a volunteer guy there named Jeremy who's so energetic and so enthusiastic about volunteerism. Two opportunities for youth. One is on Saturday evenings to go there and make sandwiches for the next day. They don't serve a meal on Sunday. Instead, they give out sandwiches. So you can go there as a youth group, go inside the soup kitchen, which is close to the community at that time, and learn more about the mustard seed. And while you're doing that, make sandwiches. As well, they have a place called the Deconstruct House that you can book for 24 hours or 48 hours and have a reality homeless experience. This is for your upper youth, like 16, 17, and 18 year olds with youth leaders. And so you basically go down and you sleep in the house and then the next day you, you um, learn about the community and how they survive on the street. 
And then the last one that I have for you, Don Smells started a ministry some years ago with Sobeys and he read an article where um, a lot of the grocery stores in Edmonton just kind of got rid of um, their things that were almost at expiry date like produce and bread and would just put it in the dumpster. And he thought this was very wasteful when there are people around us who are hungry. So he started an organization called the Bread Ministry and they work with Sobeys and they have roots Monday to Saturday where they um, go to Jasper Place, uh, Mustard Seed, Hope Mission, Hosanna Ministries and some schools and on Saturday mornings they do that as well. So you would go to Sobeys, pick up the produce and then go on their route and drop it off. So you get to go in the back door of some of these organizations and you get to see some of the people, how they work and, and just some ins and outs of that. Thanks, Bonnie. Those are some great opportunities, um, and uh, we're definitely going to sign up for a, a bunch of those. And, and students, if there's other opportunities as well that you can think of, uh, talk about those in your small groups. We're starting this series on serve, and we've been actually earlier on in, in the year, we're doing a series on bless with the whole church. And if you remember the acronym bless, uh, the first S is serve, and then this last one is share your story. And I just want to encourage you, as you interact with people in these service opportunities, uh, don't be afraid. Share your story. Uh, share what Jesus has done in your life. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that as we do this as small groups, that, that God will be transforming our hearts and also transforming those around us. So thanks for your time. We'll see you later.